One of the areas that I think a lot of people were really excited to see with the B series was the VRAM. It's because we're seeing a lot of games now, and you mentioned this in the presentation, that are exceeding the standard eight gigabytes of VRAM yeah. that you would see in the mainstream and mid-range. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, even a little higher than that from some other brands, NVIDIA specifically. Yep. Yep. So a lot of the feedback that we saw in that video was the excitement around a $250 or $249 US product with 12 gigabytes of VRAM and the B570 that has 10 gigabytes of VRAM as well. Was it just a coincidence that the design of this GPU with the 192-bit memory bus enabled this nice 12 gigabyte configuration? Or was that something that you'd planned out a while back that you sort of researched game trends, saw this becoming an issue and went, we need to make sure there's more than eight gigabytes in this card? Well, we know we know that the um, memory capacity, that the, the amount of memory that games want to consume has been going up. You can see that. I think I shared a little bit of data about this in the presentation. Also, we know that monitor sizes are increasing. The, the size of the monitors that gamers is purchasing is clearly moving up to 1440p. So with those two trends behind us, it was pretty clear that you know above eight is going to become standard, especially given the lifetime that this card is going to be living, right? If you say right now, it's clearly not enough to be eight and you need to be more like 10 and 12. And that's going to increasingly become true over the next four years, which is really my expectation for the lifetime of this card. So happy circumstance. I don't know if I would call it complete chance, um, but you know you can look at the data fairly early on and realize you need to be bigger. It is expensive, right? It takes It's not cheap to do larger memory, but it's required to get the experience that we want at 1440p. It's something that we've heard from as, as sort of an excuse that some people bring up is the cost that you sort of touched on there, the cost of adding more VRAM, and that that would make mainstream GPUs too expensive to go from 8 to 16, too expensive. That, yeah. was, the, that was the thinking there. Is that actually true? Like, does it <laughs> really cost a significant amount of money to go from, say, an 8 to 12 design or an 8 to 16 gig design? Uh, it does. It does cost because you're talking about not just the, the memory, which is expensive, but also the interfaces have to run faster. So you're talking about building a bigger chip with wider memory interfaces, which have these little phi things that are the, the like the analog pieces that control the wires. They're pretty big. So having a wider interface running higher frequencies is quite a big deal. Having a, a bigger capacity memory is, is more expensive simply because of higher expensive board design and you know the the cost of the actual VRAM itself. So I would say that it is you know it is a significantly more expensive proposition to build. Are we talking a hundred US dollars though? Because that's what Nvidia was sort of claiming with the forty eighty Ti, uh, forty sixty mm. Ti, eight and sixteen gig. They were saying, oh, to go from eight gig to sixteen gig, it has to cost a hundred dollars US more. Yet with this Intel Arc B five eighty, you're offering twelve gigabytes for two hundred and fifty dollars. So it seems a little hard to reconcile those two stories. Mm. So I'm just trying to figure out which is more, more uh, the accurate sort of explanation. Uh, I, I, I can't comment on NVIDIA's calculation of cost. You know, I know those guys. I love those guys. And I know they're not lying to you. But, but on the other hand, their calculation is probably very different than my calculation. So it's probably best mm -hmm. to say, I don't think it costs that much, but they're probably not lying either. So was VRAM price a significant consideration with making a card like a B8, B580? You sort of went, you know, we can't really do more than 12 on this card. Obviously, the, there's the memory bus width considerations yeah. as well. But it seems fairly affordable to get this amount of VRAM for this level of price. It hasn't really happened before. So was it a, a huge consideration? It, it is a consideration of our customers because we know that you know, we're trying to say that we compete well at 1440p, so we have to build an infrastructure to work there. And that has obvious um, expense, you know, issues because we're spending more money on the on the memory, but we can't raise the price. So mm. um, as a new entrant, we have to deliver a compelling value, right? We, we, we can't come in and say, we're as good as a 4070 or 4060 or 40 whatever. We have to say, at a particular price point, this is our benefit. And in exchange for you taking, you know, trying something new, you're going to get a, a nice benefit. And the benefit right now is you get much better gameplay experience at 1440p because we have a bigger memory and we have, you know, wider memory bandwidth and we have a design that's optimized for that. And we're going to give it to you at a price that, you know, you normally will not see in the market where it is today. Yeah, I think that certainly that is resonating with a lot of people at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The feedback on, on that has been really good.